for behavior interruption of shaking my leg, I originally trained DC to do it by hitting my leg with his paws, uh, but if you're wearing shorts, it can be a little bit uncomfortable to have the dog's claws and rough toes on your leg. So I've been working to switch him over to hitting my leg with his nose um, and that nice closed mouth nose boop. Um, so what I'm doing now is having to be strict on only treating for the times he interrupts with the correct action and no longer treating him for doing it with his paws, which is what he for the last four years has been taught to do. So it's a little bit frustrating for him that I'm now switching him over. So what I started to do to get him to switch over was cue him to interrupt me by bouncing my leg as usual and then put my hand out for a nose touch. So he's got a cue for touching my hand uh, with that just open hand nose touch and then putting that hand over my leg, touching my leg while he's interrupting to get him to do that and only treating once he has done that not, and just completely ignoring him scratching at my leg. So I've got some thick sweatpants on uh, which are going to protect my leg from his claws because he's going to get frustrated and he's going to claw at my leg quite a bit because it's not working. He's not getting the treat for doing it. I'm going to tr take my treat bag off so that he doesn't, he's not as influenced by the treats. I'm going to start. I've got some treats in my hand. I'm going to bounce my left leg <laughs> and I'm only going to treat when he hits me with his nose and not for the paws. I'm going to have to be quick with marking this. I'm going to use a vocal marker. You can use a clicker if that's easier, um, or you can use a hand signal or a flashing light if you have a non-hearing dog. So I'm going to bounce my leg and then only he knows what we're doing. I'm going to bounce my leg and then only treat for hitting me with his nose. So for this paw, nothing. away so he goes and then he can come back and reset down yes much better I'm essentially just gonna ignore any of the things he's doing when he's not supposed to be. So I'm not bouncing my leg currently, so he's not gonna get a treat for hitting his nose on my leg. I will treat him for putting his head on my foot though. Yes. I consider that a behavior that I would enjoy anytime. Um, having him default to putting his head on my foot is something that's helpful when he's sitting under a table at a restaurant. I don't have to be worried about uh, looking under the table and make sure he's still there because I can feel that his head is still on my foot. So that is something that I'll treat him for, but I'm not gonna treat him for hitting my leg with his nose if I'm not bouncing my leg. Yes. So I had him do it a couple of times there because he was hitting my leg with his nose, but he was also hitting me with his paw. So I didn't accept it that first time. I had him do it a couple of times until he put both his paws down and only touched me with his nose. I know that he can do that. So I'm starting to be a little bit more strict about what I'm treating for. At the very beginning, I would take any nose interaction, uh, but as he's getting better at this, I'm looking for just the nose interaction or longer nose interaction before he gets his treat. So I'm not doing it yet, so I'm not going to treat him for that. So his paw is still up on my leg. Yes, there we go. So there was a millisecond there where he did it with just his nose without his paw, and that's what I'm looking for. Uh, a lot of this is just letting them figure out. I'm not giving him a lot of clues on why some of these things are not making the treat happen when in the past four years his paws had made the treat happen. He's having to figure out that the paws are no longer necessary and I'm looking for just his nose.
Yes. I also require that he hits the correct leg. So most often um, I'm shaking my left leg, but I, I will shake my right leg every once in a while. So if I am shaking my other leg, I require that he hits the correct leg. Yes. So if I'm shaking my right leg and he hits my left leg, I'm not gonna treat him for it. You don't necessarily have to do that. Um, that's just what I like best. I'm not shaking my leg, so he's not getting anything for that, even though he did it correctly. Yes, good boy. So if they're incessantly hitting your leg with their nose when you're not needing them to, you can redirect for it. Try not to reward it. Um, if they're doing it just for attention, it's hard to redirect without accidentally rewarding them with it by giving them some kind of attention. Typically what I'll do is just ask the dog to sit, ask them to lay down, ask them to roll over, ask them for their paw. Um, just get them to do something else uh, to redirect that energy to somewhere. Um, and then you can treat them for whatever you ask them to do, but don't treat them for doing it if you didn't ask them to when they touch your leg. Yes. Oh, I dropped it. Good boy.